Let's go to the tea gardens. Right, we've just arrived at Happy Tea Gardens. He's gonna show me the tea gardens. He actually lived just next door and grew up in these tea gardens, so he knows everything about everything here. You're all like, you're all like, you're all like growing up. Where I was born. Oh yeah. There in Cutsut and Greenwich. This is crazy. So everywhere around the world we find this cut is up, whether it's the alcohol or there's always a link back to Greenwich. I was born in Greenwich, I lived in Greenwich, even up to a few years ago I was living in Greenwich. And the Katasag is the famous boat, the clipper, that's actually still there. It's been preserved, burnt down a few times, but it's been preserved. It's bizarre. I see it everywhere I go, there's something that reminds me of home. <laughs> Just to see the production side of it, it's really, really interesting. And to see how much work actually goes into making this kind of tea. Obviously, this is not the tea I'm talking about back in the Tetley tea bags, PG tips, and all the rest of it. That's just the dust that they get from this stuff. So, the actual tea tea, the tea drinkers, the proper tea drinkers who <laughs> slurp it, that, these machines they use to separate the quality. The larger, the more flavour is basically how it, how it boils down. And as they grate it through the system, all the crap goes to the bottom and the top stuff gets shipped off. 95% of it gets shipped out to Europe actually from here. 5% um, remain here and are sold in the shops locally, but it's interesting. I'm not a tea drinker. I did get involved, but it is interesting. Like in Darjeeling, we have a four variety of tea. Mm -hmm. One is called black tea. Try that one for sure. And uh, black tea is like fully fermented. So for every black tea and the white tea, we need 2.50 gram and need to brew it in a 90 to 95 degree temperature of water for five minutes. Three to five minutes is the standard time. This one is actually young leaf. <laughs> So for the green tea and oolong tea, we need 4 minutes. Basically green tea needs 3 minutes, but because of the big leaves, we'll brew it for, the, we'll brew it for 4 minutes, because this takes some time to open up the leaves. Maximum oxygen should come with the tea, so like stuff like this. You need to roll it in your palate, no? But this is more creamy, more sweet. <laughs> it has some green leaf, mm. some brown leaf. And this, this one has the um, very medicinal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I've never tried it long tea in my life, so this is going to be. I've never tried any of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like honey. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, this is the strongest one. Wow, it's got a kick, it's got a punch to yeah, it. Yeah, it has a punch. Yeah, yeah. But not too much. Not too Still much. Still smooth. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. I think you'll like that one, Sammy. Mm -hmm. And a white tea. Uh, 
<laughs> They're taking the mick out of us because us in Britain, obviously, we have our tea with milk, sugar. It doesn't taste like, taste like tea anymore. And I didn't realise, but the, the 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 process of making the tea, so it's from the leaves, and then it's like almost grates, and then the bottom is the dust, and that's what gets filled in our tea bag. So it's the the least quality or the poorest quality, should I say? This is the best quality. Um, I like my Teddy tea bags. I'm not a, uh, an avid tea drinker. It was a great experience. The flavours just don't quite sit right with me. Coffee, it's a different story. I do like a cup of coffee. But I can understand why people really get involved in the tea because the intricacies, I didn't realise how much work it actually takes and how much work goes into making the tea. Not only that, but the flavours and the notes in the tea. You know when you go to a fancy wine restaurant and everyone's saying, oh, they can taste this and taste that and taste this. That's exactly what it's like. You've got so many different notes in each sip. It's very, very impressive how they make it. And obviously they don't make an abundance of uh, the, the tea leaves because it's a very delicate process. But I do appreciate the work, the labour that goes into it. And I appreciate the experience as well. So thank you, Matthew.